I heard you like your radio, just like you like your coffee. Just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot 93.3. Lagos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hot 93.3 for the first time. Yummy, a la de. Yeah! Woo! It's a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. I love it. It's a vibe. <laughs> you know they don't know what that means, Jimmy. I oh, like you. They you don't said know. that to me a long time ago. It's a vibe. Yeah. Yo, get out of my ear. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, guys. Good morning. It's good to have you here. Good morning. My pleasure. Looking all bright, colorful. The Aww. glasses, Aww. like. The bones. Like are those flowers uh, on it. She did yes. it in the car. Yes. This is what I can't get over. She came up with the look <laughs> he, in the car. No, he did. He saw me. He, he saw me while I was still, you know, trying to put myself together in the uh-huh. car. Yeah, a few minutes. Ago. What? Remember now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do this, do that, and so like there's like, a okay. highlight to the gods. You know the the. Oh my goodness, the sunglasses are just doing something. Thank the hair you. is. Oh my goodness, the Thank outfit you. is. Wow, the lady is. You popping. came prepared for visual radio. For visual radio, yes, she did. Apparently, I need to take my manager. You know, my managers advise more often. Always dress like you're a superstar, you mean? Because you're a superstar. Yo, it's a lot of work. Because you're I'm a really superstar. not interested. Like, most times for me, that work should end on stage. Like, after that, please, can I just be a Berichi? No. <laughs> Oh, no. I like that, you know? So no. you just sometimes you just want to be you Yo. and just live in your own skin and enjoy yeah. the fact that yeah, nobody's looking at you. When you go, when you go you. and sleep, when you're in your bedroom, <laughs> I'm going to give you that. We can give you that. When you get into your bedroom, when you walk into your bedroom. I know, be like, as annoying as that sounds, it's actually the <laughs> truth. The at some truth. point in my life, in my mm-hmm. career, I had to tell myself, the minute you step out of your house, like the minute I open my front door, you're on. I'm in my office. Yeah. yeah Straight off Like it's, it doesn't even get to the gates Mm-mm. That door What's that opening Bring out my head have you, been, have you been able to adjust You know Being from You know Starting from where you, I think it was a talent show I don't want to name uh, the brand yeah? yeah From that point up to now Have you been able to adjust To the super super star Super famous life You know Like You're like Okay I'm into this right now This is who I am You know What, what I've done Gideon What I've done Is that I've not ad- Adjusted. Yeah. I've just like adapted. Okay. Because I don't think this growth involves me, you know, changing who I am. Yeah. You know, I really don't want to let that go for anything. That's like the most important thing to me. But it's hard. It's difficult. It's difficult, but I think it's it's it, it, it probably used to be difficult, but now it's like my way of life. I'd rather just be me. Anything that comes along my way and is about changing who I really am as a person before the fame before everything I really would rather avoid it so what do you use as a yardstick or what are those th- signs that you see and or you know people around you you know that just slap you in the face like oh, you're, you're losing it come back to oh, reality oh Zatahe I love you <laughs> <laughs> no one is steady annoying me <laughs> okay yes yeah, so definitely he does that and my mom is always in my ear you know trying to advise me you know to keep my cool to you know Make sure I remember that anything I do, people are going to be like, did her mother train her well? Mm, interesting. You know, mm. like this re- reflects on her Don't in grind, one way or the other. Me. I had to even Don't call her, you know, it. my new video, How I Feel. Yeah. Like a few days before it came, I had to call her and say, mommy, I wore a bikini in my video. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you my own mouth first. Yeah. But don't worry, it's not that about bikini you see on Instagram. Now that is enter the crack, it's not that type. Oh. I'm still, I'm still flying the African flag with this one. You say, ah, you me, baby, disturb me, Jojo. I said, one time it's gonna sit down. Will I wear a bikini when I'm fifty? <laughs> eh? Wait first, but I just told her that it's it's not so bad. It's decent. I said, okay, wait, I have some pictures. I'm going to send it to you. When I said, like, oh, cute baby, I That's knew I was nice. fine. <laughs> Having that relationship with your mom and continuing to have that relationship with your mom. Okay, mm-hmm. guys, we're going to be talking with Yemi Alade so much more on the show. If you want to ask her anything, you can get on our Twitter feed right now, HotFM underscore Lagos. WhatsApp is 081-800-899-3. And we are Visual Radio, aren't we, Missy? Yes, we are. We okay. most definitely are. Will you teach me your dance? I'll the bum bum dance. Yay. Yay. Because okay. oh, yeah, I've lost the ability easy. to dance and you're going to teach me. Oh, yes, You lost people. it. How did I happen? I used to be a really good dancer when then. I was much younger and then I stopped dancing. Okay. HotFM.ng forward slash Lagos. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't how, know how it just happened. We will find out. Me? It's Visual Radio. <laughs> We're going to play Want You <laughs> by Yemi Aladdin. Yes.
And she's going to dance. Oh, my goodness. And then Missy's going to try and... What do you mean, try? I heard you like your radio just like you like your coffee. Just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot 93.3. Lagos. Yeah, me and I did with the song, Watch You. Of course, we know right now it's all about how I feel. Before yeah. we go there, you you can't just be giving us your high notes when For we're not up. when we're not live, you know. Yeah, you know, no, no, show no, no. them, give them what you're oh, doing. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, 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 hey, yeah. But you know, <laughs> it's not your fault. It's yeah. not your fault. It's yeah. not your fault. But you know that Uncle is also actually, you know, a gifted musician as well. Why won't he sing? Why well, I, I know sing? he plays the guitar, right? Yes, he and he sings in the studio from time well, to time. Well, you know what he uses is for, obviously. Oh. What, 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 what? <laughs> it's not for a career, it's for other things, you know what I mean? Oh. You mean, That's you what mean, it seems like. You mean to sing like to the ladies? Oh, no, to the ladies. ladies. Like, I don't understand. I will put, you, put out that single. Are you a bird? <laughs> I'll put out that single. I'll feature Yemi and Lade. I cannot. It's a vibe. Make sure you put that one. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. What happened to that? What happened to that? What happened to that? That one is still there, but I've, 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 I've carried the spirit of his vibe everywhere. On, put, you know that vibe, I mean? put that vibe in. No, oh, I like. So, what's the vibe with how I feel? You know, that's the latest single you put out. What's the vibe with that? How I feel is, um, some people would say that that that's like a different side to me that they haven't heard in a while. Yeah. But you know, I sing every day, so like I'm used to myself, you know, hitting those notes every now and then. Um, this is how I feel for you. Yeah. yeah. It's song. very chilled and stuff, and you can still, you know, bump your head to it. You know? Yeah. The part I really like is, um, you know, I be mama for the boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Live and direct. So that's the vibe. Mama for the boys vibe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is that where you're at right now? Is that that's where your mind is right, right now? That's where my right mind now? is right is now. I hope we're in the same place. Yeah, we, we are in the same place. The same place as in, are you? is that where you are? Is there somebody that, you know, you are a mama for? That is, there, is there a man that you're just, you know, loving? You I'm know? not understanding how we shift that from I don't talking know, to I, that was, one. I was trying to figure what that out. Just, just, just saying, saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. And then you went from there. To say if you check just, out, just, yeah, do if you, you check out Yemi's Instagram, going on? I, don't, I don't get it. If you check out Yemi's well, Instagram let's, let's and Twitter, talk, do you have a man? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, so now, let's, 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 just, <laughs> Auntie you Missy, know, let's, just, let's just get your update. Wait, oh, hold up, Go hold on. up. How how is it possible that someone says "mama" for the boys, and the first thing that comes I to your mind get that. is relationship? I don't understand. No, no. it's a title. How I feel. I like. I'm the real G out there. That's what I mean. I look at your Instagram posts or Twitter posts, social media posts, and it's you. I don't know if you're giving hints or you're just trying to lead people, you know, in a funny way. Uh-huh. That okay, there's somebody there. Maybe there's not somebody there. I don't. It's, it's confusing. So well, but I'm right here. Why? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned with if there's why, somebody yeah. there or, or here share or with there? Us, am share I a with twin? Us, share with us. Share with us. I am sharing. Share, share. I am sharing. Is obviously. There a man? That that doesn't have to do with anything that I'm doing here. You know what I mean? I'm right here. Why is there a man? Is there a man no. in me? No, is there no, no, money no. you me? have to understand. Yeah, that? I I become very passionate about the people that I really really like, and because I really like you, I really want to know this on your everything. Your accent, your accent, I don't do anything to do. <laughs> no. Maybe you walk so sometimes, but not here. Let me speak some French. We go speak ahead. Some French. So, um, ah, um, not here. This thing go not. Le homme uh-huh, uh-huh. in your life, on you know. <laughs> Uh, you know, crayon, uh, to, les uh, les, you know, we were speaking <laughs> French a little bit earlier on, you know, yes, and this particular type of French, not, not, no, it's not it's proper, just, French. proper French. We were speaking proper French. Okay, uh, but just tell me, just tell me. Tell you what? Do you have a significant other? It doesn't matter. Oh my that's goodness! That's my point. But yeah. that's very true. I know it doesn't matter, but I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Okay. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the length of my hair today. It really does. As it is. That's as a great answer, is. though. Well done. Nobody's ever actually said that one. And that's really just kept me Oh, sure. affecting the length of our hair? No. Nobody's ever been like, it doesn't matter to my career or whatever it is that I'm doing here, mm. which is very true. It really doesn't matter. We're just really nosy people. Yeah. Hi. Very, very. <laughs> well done. Well done. Very, very well done. nosy well people. <laughs> Go. Okay, so, so your business. So we know that you are super busy, and it's amazing seeing you in Nigeria for this long. My God, <laughs> it feels good though. It feels yeah. good to be sincere. So how? What? What do you like? You're back home after like touring for maybe two months or so. Yo, bro. Yeah, back mm. to back. Tell us what it, what it's like every time you go out of the country. Every year you go out of the country, you know, for tours. What 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 is the feeling? How do you refresh that feeling? You know, of interacting with the audience over and over. 
as you go from city to city and also back home what are you trying to do are you trying to reconnect with people here trying to reconnect with the music trying to you know just get everybody to fall in love again yeah love you again yeah you know the thing is um i've i've how i put it i've pretty much been touring for like over three years yeah that's what i'm saying because i'm hardly like in my hometown in in nigeria and stuff it's how i feel it's a very it's a huge privilege for me you know not not a lot of artists will get the opportunity to you know tour all their lives yeah. their, their entire life the way i i have been for a while you know and um the feeling from city to city is always different. I just concluded my Euro tour, which was a 13 city, 13 country tour. And the turnout was amazing. It, it, it's crazy how every audience was never the same. But in terms of the statistics of, um, of races, the kind, the, 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 the by, the biracial attendance, it was nobody saw that coming. You know, I'd had okay. concerts that people were like, Yo, this this is not my crowd. Like a lot of African people that I worked with were like, this is not their crowd. Because like a show promoter always has like um, a set a certain, of people that yeah. that seem to always come out for their shows. But once it was my gig, it was like a refreshing. Um, it was like a different turnout. Reaching pretty. out to people that Africans would generally their music would not you reach know, out to. But Africans in the world. Recently. It's for me now. I think I feel like it's now beyond the music. It's, it people also come out for what I stand for. Okay. You know the the standing the fact that I stand for Africa unapologetically and obviously as originally as I can I think that also has attracted people to my vibe when I'm in Nigeria and when I'm out I always tell myself I I have to enjoy this you know stressful trips and the time that I have outside the country because you know I'm not going to be doing this for like five years back to back there'll be days that I'm going to have my off time yeah and when I'm on my off time I'll be like I want to go back on the road. You know, so every moment I get, I've just learned to really enjoy it to the fullest, you know, despite the, the you know, the rigors of being on the road. Where, while I'm here, I'm not trying to make anybody fall in love with me again. I think when you fall in love, you're in love, you know, so you stay there. So I'm just refreshing. I'm refreshing and trying to give out as much as I can from being available for people to talking to them to giving out stuff to my people here in Nigeria. You know, I'm not all about I'm not trying to be loved where I'm not loved. Uh, but I'm going to just love everybody as I can. You know, you just dropped some nuggets right there. Oh, you can't man. make people fall in love with you again. If you're in love, you're already there. You stay in love. As in. Okay. That's true. Enough. It's That's so it. you know, oh, True. I didn't break you're, your heart. I didn't do anything. Honestly. I'm it's like the wrong. love is there. It's just like, why do you need to fall in love again? You know, I'm killing myself trying to show as as many of, of the people that, that, that I feel love me that I love them. Wow. So why would you... You know, not be in love again anymore. Then your wow. time is up. Wow. I, I can move on. You should too. Mm -hmm. You know. So. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and play "How I Feel" by Yemi Aladi. There's so sure much we're still gonna be so. talking about. You know, um, if there's gonna be an album is this year, maybe who knows? Is the album coming? I'm not on? sure about that. Come on. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. I think I've been giving out a lot of uh, body of work, you know, recently, and I'm not sure. But although my my management really wants to drop another EP or something, they want me to. I'm considering it, but I'm not really. I'm not sure I want to do that in a while. I you know what? To, I'm not hoarding my music. It's not, it's, not, I, it's not up to you. Uh, uh, it's yes, up to it people is. that are in love with you. Okay, and they are lovers. not falling out of love with you. Okay, they are still lovers. in love with you. Okay, love get out here for a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> How I feel by Yemi Aladi playing right now. Guys, tell us what you think. And also communicate with us and ask questions on Twitter. Hot FM underscore Lagos. Hot FM underscore Lagos. And zero eight one eight hundred eight double nine double three. The coffee gang is still here. Miss it. I heard you like your radio, just like you like your coffee, just, just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The coffee gang on Hot ninety three point three, Lagos. Feeling like a Jesus. You too, Basky or Marvin? Yeah, yeah. You too, Basky or Marvin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh no! It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. We got that vibe. We got that vibe. Oh my god! Got that vibe. Go down with the shaku. Okay, guys, man, we're having a fantastic time in the studio. You heard them? Yemi already singing to the music. The voice doesn't even need any auto tuning, as in like my own. Just this. 
Did you hear me say go down? I was like, no, yeah. it was all right. It Thank was, you. Oh, it was all right. Thanks. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> it was, Thank you. <laughs> Sing a test, Alice. It was all right, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Sing of life. Give me a right still in the studio. Um, yes, I am. Okay, so recently, checking your social media posts and all, with everything happening in the country, you've been speaking out as regards people getting your PVCs. Yo. You know, getting your PVCs just so that we can make things right. Yeah. You also uh, mentioned something on social media as regards uh, Macron being here. And Did I read it out? Uh, yeah, yeah. Nigeria and ICE service. When we want to package, we will dazzle only for a short while. The things we do to show off, especially as Oga, as Emmanuel Macron has come, is how Nigeria is supposed to be every damn day. Good roads, electricity, water. Wouldn't yep. you like that? Yeah, as in, how, I'd love it. How much does it break your heart when you go out and then come back and things still remain the same year after year? Yo, just that's that's the crazy part. Things are not remaining the way they were before. Things are actually getting worse. True. You well, know, like like um, yes, I'd been away for a longer period than usual because after the Euro tour, which was a month and some weeks, I was hoping to come back to Nigeria and maybe chill a bit. But mm-hmm. then I had. Um, already booked shows in Swaziland, South Africa, and some other places. So I was still away for another extra three weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, so I stayed away from Niger for a little longer than I expected to, like four weeks longer than I expected to. Okay. And when I took a drive home one particular day, I couldn't help but speak out. I was like talking to myself, and I was like. It's obvious that people are getting poorer. Mm-hmm. The atmosphere is getting stiffer mm-hmm. than it once was. Um, I normally get, I like our gigi bread. So every now and then, once in a while, I ask for them to buy for me. Mm-hmm. You know, and I can't help but realize that it's gotten more expensive and there's more air inside. Wow. Like, where's the bread itself? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So when that happened, I was like, okay, I understand. You know, things happen. Things happen. I get it. But then when you can now see it on people's faces, when, the spirit of poverty is hovering like a whirlwind. Then you know that we need a way out and quick. And Things then, have gotten worse and are getting even worse. Like how we go survive? How? Yeah. yeah. How? Just That's like you step out of your comfort zone. Forget that it's the way they blow you for car. Forget say maybe you day lucky and you day on top one street where they okay. Just look like really look at the man next door. Poverty is eating deep, deeper than ever was. And finally, they just had to say on CNN that we're not the face of poverty in the entire world. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you have a bell with or something the most, to ring? The, no, no, no. I'm not going to ring a bell for that. We're yeah, not he even has gone. He, he has a gong, okay. but he won't ring. It's like, like, sarcasm. Gong. Okay, okay, no, yes. Don't, don't this, do I won't, I won't. <laughs> <That's still laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, that was, that was full on sarcasm. Yeah, you know, of like, course, yeah. Like, really. Like, just, that was just to put the dot on the eye that I had recently said to myself you know yeah. that really poverty was lurking like an evil spirit and we have now overtaken india to become um one of the economy with with the most um with the highest, with, with the highest poverty poverty rate. Rate. the face the of moment. india with poverty is one that is very stark and you to know? now think nigeria has taken over and india has over a billion thing. people yeah as exactly. our population now compared to us then how did we get there with our, our obviously smaller just, population. Yeah, of like uh, maybe a 200 million right now. So, exactly. So maybe if before I thought that it was a 10% and 90% poor against rich, because obviously we don't have a, a mid, um, what do they call middle, class. middle class. Middle class anymore. Yeah. That's yeah. no longer existent. So now that means it's actually 1 to 99. Which is sad. Which, Which is, is very really sad. sad. It feels Which like it's 1 really, to 99. really, really, really horrible. Horribly sad. Okay, like with... It's it's obviously you're passionate about stuff like this that you just want to speak and then have people, especially people in authorities, do the right thing so that it can benefit the everyday Nigerian. I wish we could all just be really educated as per how to really communicate with you know the government and make them do what you know they owe us. I say owe us. Oh because, yeah, they do. Yeah, owe us because we trusted them enough to put them in power to take care of us. You know, but. It seems that we're not priority. A few people are actually putting down their weights and doing the things that they can do, you know. But we need more. We're, we're, um, average isn't good enough anymore. 
What do you think, for example, in 2019, there's going to be an election, right? Um, let's say, let, let's just say a, a new government comes into power. What do you think is the first thing that they need to actually tackle? Well, I was privileged to have parents who thought that education was very impo- is very important. Mm-hmm. And I also feel the same for mm-hmm. any child out there, boy or girl. And if I remember, um, in one of my classes in economy, the, in economics, they taught us that it is... When a, when a nation has good transport and electricity supply, mm-hmm. there is no break in their backbone. Now, mm-hmm. if you see all the countries that we seem to always go for our holiday trips and stuff, you see that transport and electricity are not taken lightly. Yeah. Those are like the cocoa. In fact, when you want to say I want travel, we will say, oh, I'm not going to take lights for there now, last, last. Mm-hmm. I, I toured Europe. And at some point, we got a tour bus. You mm-hmm. know, so we lived in the bus. There, there was a kitchen. There was the sitting room area there were rooms in the in, in this tour bus and we were on the road obviously a bus has to ply the road mm-hmm. there wasn't one time one gallop or one ditch or one anything on the road this is from country to country this is from germany to switzerland switzerland to france france to you know um, um everywhere that we went to italy we'll yeah. go away, everywhere where we go nothing like that it was road transport all the way so if a country like that can have good transport and good electricity, first of all, you've also empowered entrepreneurs. A lot of entrepreneurs today are actually suffering because all their profit go into buying diesel and fuel yeah. to power their projects. So yeah. there's little to take home. So how do you grow? We all know that as all these odds are against us in Nigeria, a lot of entrepreneurs are the ones that are making our economy yeah. in Nigeria and Lagos look good. Let's not even forget that Lagos is what has somehow mentally made it look like Nigeria is doing fantastically well. No, you are strong as the weakest point. Mm. A lot of cities in Nigeria are at zero level. There is red soil everywhere. There are bad roads everywhere. People are languishing in poverty. People are not really going to school. And education is expensive as Lord knows what. Okay. Even the government schools. Two wow. universities, one of the federal government universities, yeah. all of them, school fees is just going times four, times five. Nobody's even looking back. I'm hearing that now some students are being made to sign certain, um, um, what do you call it, paperwork that says that they cannot talk ill about their schools. Oh, wow. Shout as out to Unilag on that. I was, a, I was a former <laughs> Unilag student, but that's what I hear now. It's all plagiarism, I don't know what they call it. But you can't speak ill about your university. That's, that's enough just... to get you kicked out. That's crap. What's this? That's rubbish. That's okay. absolute rubbish. Yeah, wow. I must I must confess, you know, I've known you for a couple of years and this side of you I don't get to see often. It's just the truth. Yeah, you no, know, it's the truth. And I I I wanna believe there's something that triggered it, you know. It's life, it's where I'm I'm from, it's where I live, it's what I see every day. It's almost like common sense. Can someone just Apply common yes, sense. Yes, can someone just apply common sense and just like if you relieve your people of a lot of stress, you you tend to have a, a better tenor. True. Do you believe in the uh, theory of this, whereby okay, obviously the politicians are in power, but th- there's this thing where they say politicians are going to steal anyway. So why don't they at least do something or be seen to be doing something and then continue to do their stealing, but just as long as they're at I least I don't believe doing in something. that. I think it's high time that we cut off all those so-called. <laughs> Um, advantages of being in office. What's yeah, up? can I just say this? We don't have anything to steal again in Nigeria, really? please. As a politician, Are you please. Sure? No, no, please. Are you sure? Oil that is our main They're resource still doing it. that we're not even refining. They're still here. doing it. It's, it's, it's selling at how much a bio in it, the price is falling so much. Please don't steal. Nobody, there's nothing to steal. You know why? Like, but, but wait, wait, bro. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Come on. Sensei. Yeah. Why is the price falling? It's falling because the world is go- turning away from oil. Hello, it's somebody. It's falling because every <laughs> Iran Hello, has been, the, the Iranian market has been opened up. Yeah. With all the sh- sanctions Russia has, it's been uh, you know it's been lifted. No, most of them still there, but they're still selling their oil. Like, why is this not annoying? Why? Why is Saudi someone Aramco thinking ahead? Saudi is trying to make the you know the, the biggest you know oil oh, company Jesus. go public. Have mercy. So yeah, America has oil. America has stopped selling their crude for a very long time. They are busy helping us to refine and sell back to yes, us. Yes, exactly. Now, why do certain countries like this not sell their crude? They're keeping their natural resources. Reserves. They need. They, they have need. Because at some point, we might get a, a lot of countries are not doing what they're doing. So at some point, they will still end up. The crude will end up becoming like gold. Mm-hmm. 
And then you can sell your entire country for one drum. Mm-hmm. One we're, going, barrel. we're going to renewable energy, babe. Like electric, oui. electric cars. That's, you know, that's, what I'm that's the world. <laughs> the world. That's where the world oh, is looking. Yeah, a lot, renewable a lot, energy. Yeah, a so. huge part of the world. Because even okay. America now you know has what? discovered um, shale. So. I, 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 I didn't think we'd go this direction on the show, but I'm loving it. <laughs> we'll come back and we'll talk to Yemi more. We'll conclude on the interview. But, you know, you have to listen to this song again. How do you feel? Like, how do you feel? Everything you heard, Yemi, say, how do you feel? Ah, Exit. Don't break ah. the mic. Calm down. Calm ah. down. Okay, guys, just hit us up on uh, WhatsApp. And that's 0818. This one's more And, of course, you can hit us up on Twitter as well. This is Hot FM underscore Lagos. And let us know if you have any questions or comments for Yemi Alade or on anything she has just candidly spoken about. I heard you like your radio just like you like your coffee. Just just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot 93.3 Lagos. Also very exciting, you know, talking with her and her sharing her views as regards our Yearly beloved Nigeria. Uh, yeah. Hello. Okay, so let me know. <laughs> let me know. Okay, calm into, down. Like, take yeah. a deep breath. Take I'm a deep trying, breath. Take a deep breath. Okay. So you you got the reins, Yemi. So anything you want for us? No. <laughs> Yemi. Yeah. What should we be expecting for from you? For I mean, we're in July now, so we have how many more months of the year? What 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 should we be I, looking out for? <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to snap out of that. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm just, just feeling try, like, just like, try. okay, as I snap out, I just wanted to say, I just feel like sometimes Nigeria is like a mother that is giving birth to a child and refuses to take care of it. Like, that's how oh, it wow. feel. To be sincere, that's the situation. So, moving on. <laughs> um, yeah. how I feel. Oh, yeah. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> Are these like the, the kind of exercises you do in the morning when you wake up or before a concert, that sort of thing? What do you do? Well, yeah, pre-performance, yes. Okay. There are a lot of things I have to do, especially okay. screaming, but not screaming to lose my voice. Like, uh, you know that one? Yeah. Open up the vocal yeah, cords so it's like and You're actually really pushing out a lot of air. You're screaming, but oh, really? because your, your lips are closed, uh-huh. you... Are working your vocal cords without hurting them. Ah, yeah. So you do. There's this one. Do re mi fa sol la ti do. You always do that. You're always. Yeah, doing yeah, that. yeah. To open up the jaw. Yeah. It's There's stretch. this funny one. It's like. <laughs> What's that yeah. one? Ah. So yeah. Stretching the muscles. Yeah. You know, making them flexible. Yeah. Because you're gonna be singing for a long time. So it's not new when you want to hit those notes and go like ah. So I can, can do that. Ooh, this deserves the applause. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like, you know, you know what I don't like right now. You know what I don't like right now. I don't like your face right now. I've always thought that I could sing. Then when she does stuff like that, I'm like, Missy, gotta sit down. Gotta sit down. <laughs> Missy, and go yourself. into rapping, Elliot. Yeah. Okay. You know, but yummy, you, yummy is you know, in the house. Yummy, 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 yummy is in the house. Uh, okay, yeah. right, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this later. But there's some singers that don't put in enough work in this oh, day and okay. age. They just tell you that you don't need to put in enough work. In so your, you don't in need your to singing. do anything. They call yeah, it a just, vibe. Yes, call it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking shots at no, me? No, I don't have gun. No. <laughs> taking shots at I me. I don't have gun. Need a mind to tequila. Vibe. Nah, bro. But you know that there's a, there's a there's a how I put it. What matters the most? You, everybody gets a lot of advice, but mm-hmm. you have to choose the one that works for you. Okay. Because yeah. there are a lot of artists that still hit their keys, like you know, there's Sam Smith, there's still Adele, there's this new girl that's out now. Boot up, boot up, boot up, boot up. I think R&B is coming back. Everything that was yeah. old is coming exactly. back. Yeah, is sounding really nice. Yeah. You also. know, so yeah. But so back to me, Yemi Alada. Okay, let's, <laughs> before, before, before you go, you know, and tell us, you know, those things that you think we should know, let me just put something out there. I know you must have heard this before. Um, some people say, okay, they compare you, your sound, to a female artist in Nigeria doing really well. Which one? And they'll compare, I don't want to mention names, <laughs> you know. Should I, Should mention, I names? mention names? Enjoy I wanna, yourself. I don't want to mention, mention names. Just mention. Okay, like Freedom of Siwa, speech. You know. No, they, I don't think. Can I just you, say? I don't yeah? think so. I, don't, maybe I really shay. do not think so at all. I don't think they have the range she does. Okay. Yeah. Frank, personally speaking, I've heard Tiwa in public. I heard her just a couple of weeks ago. And she shouts. Ooh. Yeah. 
but she, like, even sitting right here, you can hear her range. I'm not hating. I'm just stating a fact. I know. This gets me in trouble all the time. I speak the truth. But the thing is, I, for example, she's sitting here. She's singing. She's giving me goosebumps, basically. And I heard somebody just a couple of weeks ago live. I mean, the tunes are good because I dance to her tunes and everything. But really... Your range is quite exceptional, I must say. Thanks, mm-hmm. cool. Yes, I'm just stating. So, how do I feel about comparisons and stuff? Yes. Um, <laughs> my <Sorry>. sister. <laughs> Look, to be sincere, yeah, someone else could sit down next to 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 me and you right now mm. and be of the exact opposite opinion. Exactly. As you. Exactly. And so, what I've done with the career, with this kind of career that puts you like in the limelight and keeps you vulnerable to everybody's opinion, I just have to make sure that my opinion is like paramount is a, is a priority is the number one mm-hmm. so you could you could love the way i hit those notes but i have to wake up in the morning and tell myself yeah I mean, you can hit those notes you don't mm. need anybody to tell you mm. you know you could so how i put what what i'm trying to say is that when it comes to comparison that is that is that's your cup of tea now you choose to compare people me right. i'm not comparing i respect everybody mm-hmm. we all inspire each other in this industry is because of um, the healthy competition that we're all trying to make it to number one. And someone said yesterday that there's actually no number one. That is why everybody's competing to be number one. Lovely. And that's what makes Nigeria, the Nigerian music industry stay afloat because mm. we're all trying to be number one. And the truth is there is no number one because your top five artists in Nigeria that, sh- that, that, that are the biggest in Africa can shut out, can shut down the exact same capacity the same capacity Wizkid holds down in Africa I hold it down same yeah. capacity um, David O holds, in the, holds down in Africa I hold it down same venues we all shut it down Go so on, there is no number Go one on, and that's the truth Go on, girl. <laughs> give me some applause no, but, you see, you but you see that, that, that's the <laughs> truth but not everybody will agree to that people will be like ah yeah me shut up wait till they talk no you're not number one you know but that that's not my business you should. Why don't we just go ask the promoters, the people who know the numbers? Mm-hmm. Why don't we go there? Yeah, ask them. If you must. Ask okay. them. Yes. So yeah. If yeah. you must. Yes. yes. Mic drops. Mic drops. I'm <laughs> dropping the mic for high. Mic drops. What is it? Come on. There is yes. no number one. No. <laughs> okay. Finally, before we go, because there's a money bag at 9:30, and I don't want to miss oh, it today. Right. Okay. Neither do I want to miss no money bag, especially no, 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 my no. lunch bag. Terms, terms that conditions <laughs> supply. Or breakfast bag. Okay. Okay. So what do I want to say, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm in Nigeria for a few more days, and and I was um, privileged enough to perform before um, President Macron, Emmanuel, Woo! and the Governor Amber Day at the Real African Shrine. It's been a while I've been at the shrine, so How it felt it? good. My mom was backstage, oh. so it was it was interesting just to see her, you know, be happy. So in my in my own caption, I said I performed at the Real African Shrine a few days ago in front of a governor, a president, and my mom. You know, oh, those are the amazing. three people that. And I had my favorites, Angelique and everybody, you know, there in the audience. But I'd like to say that I'll be going on tour in, um, I'll be kicking up my Canadian tour in, um, what month is that? This is July. July. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, end of July into August. So if you have friends in Canada, please tell them to go get their tickets oh, and lovely. stuff. And I'm working on uh, an actual concert here in Nigeria. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Maybe Coming December? Soon. Maybe. Oh, good. maybe, maybe. Fingers you know. crossed, people. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. So I can't wait, and just know that no matter how far I go, no matter where I go, I am proudly and unapologetically African, and definitely, most importantly, Nigerian. That's Niger- a song right there. Life. No yes. matter where I go, no matter where oh, I be, uncle, I'm unapologetically oh, African. Singer. And stop it, stop wait, it. singer, stop I already have it. a song stop that it. says, "Anywhere you go, I know, London, USA, Yo. nowhere be like Africa, nowhere be like." Home hey. anywhere you go, go New York, Chicago, uh-huh. nowhere be like Africa, nowhere be, be like, like home. home. Oh, oh I'm, again, see, yeah. I'm the hype man. Hype man, hype thank you so much for coming through. Pleasure. I had a fantastic time. I did as well, you know. I was skeptical about stepping out so early, but then, you know, it's it was day. worth it, right? No, of course it was. You look of gorgeous. Was. Come on. Thank you, Mama. Say, I'm Thank so you. stunning right now. Just Thank funny. You know, you, know, you, know, you, know every time, you know, every time we link up, it's, it's, a, it's a good vibe. time. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. No, no you guys can't it. get it. Don't worry. Just, not just learning. It. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. That's why we're all together. Oh, yeah. Leave this thing. We want to go. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. We're fine ooh, without ooh, you. Ooh. It's a vibe. That's who who is that? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, me. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being a fantastic friend. Oh 
thank you, Sensei, for being so amazing. Love, You're an inspiration. Don't cry. Don't cry. Love, 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 so don't cry. love you too, honey. Love you so much. Aww. If you don't know, nice well, to have met you again, Messi. You too. Yenny's a fantastic friend of mine, so God bless you, baby. Amen, and you too, my dear. Okay, this is it. How I feel. The brand new single, Yemi Aladi. Make sure you go get it. Okay, she's gonna dance, so people log on to Hot FM. Okay, Hot FM. Yes. Four yes. Slash gonna dance. Gonna teach me a little few of some steps. Some let's steps. Dance, yeah. Let's, let's, let's let, go. Let's go. See the madness in the studio right now. Maybe a little shaku shaku. Continues. Yeah. Make I tell you something now. Yeah. The way I'm feeling now. Yeah, yeah. You know I be mama for the world. Oh, yeah, yeah. But now you are choose. Oh, yeah. This is how I feel for you. This is how I. This is how I feel. Oh yeah, yeah. This is how I feel for you. This is how I feel. Ordinary love, the truth be say I cannot get enough. No be only for months, say I love you. No be ordinary talk, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, complete me, it get good now, yeah. I fall in completely, I don't reach down, no, yeah. My baby, you too sexy, oh, my baby, you so messed up, oh, yeah. My baby, you get sexy, oh, my baby, you don't stress, so, oh, yeah. This is how I feel for you. This is how I. This is how I feel. Yeah, yeah. This is how I feel for you. I heard you like your radio, just like you like your coffee, just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot ninety three point three, Lagos.